Blimps, airships, whatever you call them, these massive units are not part of Canada's transportation network. But First Nations groups in Manitoba want that to change, especially from remote areas. And industry from Europe and the United States say they can help. Here's our Manitoba correspondent Crystal Gamansing with more on the airship industry. Getting goods into the north has long been a challenge. Traditional planes can only hold so much, and cargo is costly. Rail also has drawbacks. But a solution could be on the horizon, airships. We have to look at ways where we could create a cargo shipment for, for, for our communities where there's less destruction, and, and an airship is one of them. David Harper isn't just toying with the idea. His organization invited industry leaders from around the world to Winnipeg. They pitched products, talked pricing, and partnerships. We've uh, been interested in, uh, in the northern Canada for some time, going back to 2002. Fred Edworthy's company is testing a new type of airship in Los Angeles. The Dragon Dream has a number of unique features and has elements of a fixed-wing airplane. For those living in remote locations, a transport vehicle like this could mean the delivery of huge supply shipments year-round. Climate change is one of our biggest, um, uh, biggest obstacles. And to have an all-weather road 20 years, 30 years down the road, or you know, something that is almost ready for, for development could be used in the meantime. Barry Prentice has long been promoting the idea of airships in Canada, but it's had little traction. We don't have the leadership of the country uh, stepping up to the mic and saying, well, I like airships, we should have an airship program. There was a House of Commons Standing Committee report released earlier this year. The Committee for Transportation, Infrastructure and Communities did recommend the federal government create a pilot project, as well as clear certification rules for those piloting the airships. My perspective is it's the greatest job in the world. Corky Belanger says airships today are safe and full of cutting-edge technology. He's piloted everything from the Goodyear blimp at sporting events to the Dragon Dream. We can go as far north as you want to go. We can carry whatever loads you want to carry. I mean, up into the hundreds of tons and go in and land to a spot with no infrastructure. There doesn't have to be anybody there. What is needed is money. There's no airship infrastructure in Canada. Still, industry leaders here are interested in working in Manitoba, saying there's clearly a market. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, Winnipeg.